Hello everyone, this is Royal Miniatures here with another painting tutorial. In this video, we're going to go over how to paint armor. This is the same model that I had used in the dry brushing paint video. I'll include a link in the description and right here in the video for you. We're going to use the same brush that we had used in the previous video. This is the flat brush. You just get a little bit of paint on the tip of the brush and then if you have a little bit too much, no big deal, just work it out onto a sheet or in my case I'm using my skin run the brush lightly back over the top. This is a very similar method that you would use with dry brushing. However, in this case, you're not as focused on getting highlights and having the paint not go into the valleys like we did with dry brushing. But in this case, you're more focused on just getting the paint distributed all across the model. And as long as you aren't putting on too thick of a coat, you will not ruin all that work that you had done with dry brushing. Unlike dry brushing, where your primary goal is to really highlight all of the texture and all the details of the model, in this case, your primary focus is getting a very light coat of paint onto all those areas. If you are gentler with your pressure and you're not pushing as hard, it will only help you because you are able to keep all of the high edges and get those caught. And then if you keep your darker colors dark, that way you'll be able to um, give your model a little bit more depth and in my opinion it makes them look much more realistic. So in this case I'm just repeating the same process that you had just seen earlier where I'm getting the paint onto the tip of the brush, diluting it just enough so it will provide a little bit of you know pretty even coverage with each stroke and then I'm very gently going back and forth over the model and just by applying a little bit of pressure you can see how that one extra coat of paint gives the model so much more life and it is not looking flat, it looks very realistic and all those really nice details of the model are highlighted now. The best way to get this process to work the most effectively is to do a little bit more time with your initial setup of your model. After you prime it, just spend a little bit more time dry brushing. That way, when it comes to this stage, essentially getting the primary color all over the surface of the model, this will allow you to get the bulk of the work out of the way and then you can focus on all the little details. If a little bit of paint goes over the areas that you didn't want to get painted, that's totally fine. In this case, I'm just trying to get all of the armor covered. I know that for the remaining areas, for instance, the bolter here, I'm gonna probably make that black for his little pouches and holster. That is gonna also be a brown and black. So I know that when I get to those areas, I can easily use a darker color. That way, I don't have to be as cautious when I'm getting the main color, the green, applied to the model. You can repeat the same process throughout the entire model. Just go back and forth, just like you can see here, applying light pressure, and you will eventually get your base coat all over the surfaces that you need. You can spend a little bit of extra time on the larger surfaces. That will make the color more vibrant. Just remember to use a light coat of paint. As you can see here, it's really vibrant. And at the same time, all of those deep valleys that are in the model surface remain black. Even though I'm going back and forth over those areas with this big brush, I'm not hitting them. I don't go out of my way to avoid other areas, but if you use a smaller brush, you can be a little bit more precise. So for instance, if I wanted you know, that, that holster there to be a lighter color, I would probably use a smaller brush. But in this case, I know I'm going darker, so no big deal. I'm just going to hit it with the wide brush and then move on. When going through this process, it's really good to just look over the entire model, hit every single surface that you can see. You'll find that some areas are very hard to reach. Don't feel worried about going over with multiple coats. Just take your time, apply the paint as necessary until you have the coat that you like. All right, so the model is nearly finished. I'm just finishing up the last little bits that I want to get coverage on. Now, at this stage, I know that there are probably a couple areas that I wasn't able to get with this large brush, but I just find that it's easier just to use one brush at a time. That way, you don't have to keep switching back and forth with different brushes while you paint. I hope this video helps you. It's um, a really great application you can use for pretty much any miniature, especially getting out you know the main color. We'll dive into more topics in another video. All right, nearly finished here. I'm just going to do a little bit more of the areas that could use a little more paint. Once I'm ready to go, I'm done with the flat brush. And now you can see the entire model is covered green and the armor looks fairly realistic. And that was all done with just one coat.
This model was actually done as a request based on a response that I had gotten to the dry brush video. If you would like to make a request as well, I'd be happy to make another video based on a paint scheme or a model that you'd like to choose. Feel free to reach out to me on Instagram at Royal Miniatures or on Twitter at Royal Minis. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.